We are back in West Virginia, wild and wonderful, just in time for the sun to come out. Uh, this weekend, well, it's actually starting tomorrow, is the Festival of Glass at Blanco, uh, which is about 15, 20 minutes away from where I am in Huntington. I'm very distracted by what's happening around me. Uh, my big goal for today is to be in and out before everyone else is, because I have a feeling it's gonna get crazy busy. This is really cool. I've never been here before. I'm at Village Antique Mall in Huntington, Huntington, West Virginia. <laughs> stuff like this look at this art deco lady oh my gosh look at the little purse that says daisy on it how sweet is that wow that trinket box with the cameo and the purple velvet really sweet stuff this is the kind of like little stuff that i like this is kind of what i expected all right check out this paperweight that's kind of crazy looking pilgrim glass 195 it's really nice. It's also signed, which is kind of unusual. I love these tumblers. Those are at 39 each. A lot of really nice Blanco. I'm still kind of like kicking myself for leaving that giant two foot Blanco swung vase yesterday. But like I said, it just wasn't one I wanted to keep for my own personal stash. And uh, I didn't want to ship a two foot vase especially not for 164 invested in it. Look at this, it's this little, so cute. See, this is kind of the stuff I like, the, can, the candelabras, bohemian, really pretty. Although I got my candelabras for this trip. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the uh, dog duster. That's so cool. And the old patches, wow. This place is kind of magical. And you guys know I have a soft spot for the black glass. That is gorgeous. Handkerchief face, hand painted. Oh my gosh, look at Mickey and Minnie. Those are super early. Yeah, not, they say 1930s. See a few things in this booth that catch my eye. The first, that's kind of neat. Eh. Uh, over here, lots of pink. A lot of stuff I've seen before. Although, look at this. The fish is so cool. You can't really see it in there. There, you can see it better now. Which way do I go first? Do I go up or do I go over there? I kind of feel like I want to go over there. I'm going to carry on with these cases. Since it's not crowded in here, I don't mind cases, especially because they're right near the uh, people. Look at this thing. That's weird. Billy's. That looks like something. <laughs> and that art glass bird. That's really neat. Handmade glass art. Wow. Yeah, West Virginia has some awesome glass. Also, like the strawberry birds. <laughs> Dude, look at this light fixture. That's insane. And then look at that, that looks like a Fenton. Yeah, it is Fenton, duh. That's really pretty, the Burmese lamp. And uh, personally, I'm more into this. That's gorgeous, I love the color on that. Blanco bowl, love the color on that, 35. It's a neat little horse dish, that's at 18. But it's this case right here. It's um, beautiful WV glass, 25% off, okay. <laughs> Wow, some really nice stuff in here. Taking it shelf by shelf so I don't get too overwhelmed. And uh, love the butterfly. The cats are great. 49 and 25% off. Decent for a collector, a little close for me. Love that opalescent rose bowl too. I have a soft spot for rose bowls. Of course, you know I love that color. Oh my gosh, the hair comb, that's gorgeous. Little spendy. Oh, the cat's cool too. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the one I just picked up across the way in Kentucky. What is that? Pilgrim Cameo Glass Grapes. It's $400, it's very pretty though. Fenton Santa, I think I'm gonna go 
Wait, what is that face up there? Fenton. Oh, it's that same gold color that gets me every time. I swear it looks like Tiffany's almost. It's so pretty. Here, we can do the reveal of upstairs together. Love this side table. Oh, it's like clothing. Uh-oh, good grief. God knows I don't need any more of this stuff. And they have trinkets too. Fabulous belt. Oh no, <laughs> so much clothing. It's like one of my kryptonites. Love this stuff, but uh, I don't even have enough days in the year to wear what I have. Like, look at the little jelly shoes. I mean, come on. Those are so cute and they're older too. Amazing. Someone would probably really want those. I just want to like scream to the world, they're here. <laughs> also, this dress. <laughs> Maybe I'll wear that to the meet and greet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did it again. I've been talking to myself this whole time. <laughs> um, I was saying I was beelining towards this fabulous ephemera piece. Fits all head sizes. Your crown is a whimsy, it's a fine accessory. It's so good. Honestly, if that wasn't as easily damageable as it is, I would totally grab that. Looks like we have a little Fenton bird hiding in here. $15, not bad. What's that decanter? That thing's cool, you know, I love my decanters. 1970s amber glass decanter, 70 bucks. And another little Blanco piece. Nice. What's this? Giant piece of Blanco. Orange Blanco glass brick, $20. That's freaking cool. I feel like I don't need this, but it's really cool. It's literally a brick. <laughs> well, not literally, but metaphorically. Kind of a cool paperweight though. I don't know, man. Let me stop. Some funny owls. These are made to, this one's at least made to look like the Anthony McFarland. It's a hobbyist piece though. Oh my gosh. Look at this mirror. How fun. Oh, it's for the set, I'm assuming. Two piece, $25. Stop it right now. That's insanely cheap. <sighs> right? Two piece, yeah. Oh, I love that thing. And this nice little mirror tray, 23. I love the little nymphs on it. That's what makes it. All right, you know what? I think this thing is just cool. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. Don't really need it, but I love the color on it. And it's just kind of weird. For 20 bucks, I'm just gonna take it. Why not? But also this wheelchair is amazing. I actually have like a second great aunt or something. She's like super, super far related to me, but she collects antique wheelchairs. I think she has these, um, like a bunch of them. Really, really weird, I love it. Okay, but also look at the jack in the pulpit. <sighs> Man, that's pretty. $24. I'm just nervous because it's clear. I haven't had good luck with clear, but it's so cool. Okay, but also this situation happening. Look at the Fenton lamps. Those are amazing. I love this booth back here. Oh my gosh, look at the dresser set. And the little celluloid cat. Looks like all the prices are right around where they need to be, but you never know when you're gonna find that special piece. Like that mermaid is amazing, but it's at 55. What about in here? Look at the salt and pepper shakers they have. Oh my gosh. I love the little lambs. Let's see what these are priced at. I think they're about 25. These say 25, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're about all 25. Really fun though. Fabulous head base, 125. These cases are amazing, like absolutely amazing. It's just neat to see if nothing else. Like look at the cupies. Oh my gosh, that lamp. <gasps> How much is she? The hula girl, how much is she? Dang it, there's 1950s mid-century. Oh, I can't read the price tag on it. I need a ladder. 
She's $45 and she's everything. I gotta take a better look at that. That might be something really special. Really amazing cameos. Um, I did decide to pass when I got her down. She just wasn't as defined as I'd like. I was hoping it was maybe um, like a relative like of Dorothy uh, Kindle or the Italian hula girl I have. And I don't know, it just kind of felt a little off. This case is amazing. Unfortunately, the prices are a little steep for my personal, like, oh my gosh, like the nudes, they're amazing. I have a small collection of those. Oh wow, there's like a whole nother section. Which way to go first? I think I'm gonna go this way first. I like this dusty treasure sign. It's giving me a good vibe. Love the carnival glass face in here, but it's this that's actually intriguing to me. Small creamer, Irish Belique. Oh, it's the light that's making it look that color. <laughs> I thought it was like this weird yellowy glass, kind of like a custard style. It is not. Um, what? Okay, so like rainbow glass, maybe not the best selling thing, but like this, I feel like is an exception. I've never seen half this stuff. You know what's really calling me. I wish that didn't have a handle on it. Oh, that's so cool. Like I said, you can tell why it's so easy to get um, Rainbow and Blanco confused. See, there's that decanter. The mushroom is so cool. How much is that? Is it just like a museum? Oh, it's a museum, that's why. Interesting. It's literally a museum. <laughs> now I'm like, dang, should I have picked up that decanter? <laughs> feeling pretty stupid for leaving that decanter yesterday after not that I have like any reference 55 on that that's really pretty I mean it, it could have been at retail um just because it's in a museum doesn't make it invaluable but still it was just neat that's a nice little basket all right well I spent 20 bucks in there I'm gonna put my brick in the car I do want to check out this lamp situation happening across the street before I carry on to my next antique ball Wow, there's like a lot of cute little shops down here. Just in case you were wondering why I was so distracted, that's why.